Hello guys, it's Dale here with a weekly trading ideas video for this week starting today at the 25th of April 2022. And before I go into the trading ideas, I'd like to invite you to a webinar which will take place this Thursday. And the topic of the webinar is going to be price action trading. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you there and I'll put a registration link uh, below this video on YouTube. Uh, the webinar is free, you just need to register your seat. So you just click the link and do the registration and that's about all you need to do to participate in the webinar. All right, so don't forget this Thursday price action webinar. Now one more thing before we go and have a look at the charts. And the thing is, the contest we had the last time, the price of the contest was flexible volume profile for MetaTrader 4 platform. And right now on your screen, you see the name of the person who won in the contest, who won the volume profile indicator. So congratulations for winning in the contest. And what I will do is I'll do another contest for the next week. The only thing that you need to do to participate in this contest is just leave a comment below this video and next week I'll randomly pick one person to win my volume profile indicator. All right, so that's about all that. Let's now finally have a look at the charts. Uh, the first chart that I would like to talk about is the chart of the British pound. So we're looking at the British pound US dollar 30 minute chart. And in here I have two new day trading resistances. The first one is pretty close. It's at 1.2796 and it is based on a trend setup. It is based on the strong downtrend, on this part of the strong downtrend. And as you can see, there is a place that stands out. This heavy volume place, right? From there, the selling activity, the strong selling activity continues to move downwards. And this is telling us, this volume cluster is telling us that sellers who are pushing the price downwards are adding to their shorts in here. And that's why I think that this will work as a strong resistance zone. I think that when there's pullback to this place, those sellers will become active and they're likely to push the price downwards from there again to defend the heavy volume zone where they placed their shorts and which begins in here at 1.2796. All right, so that's the first resistance on the average pound. And the second one is based on the volume accumulation setup and it is based on this rotation, a rotation with heavy volumes from which the downtrend started this very, very strong sell off started. So those volumes are telling us that there was strong trading activity and this sell off is telling us that there were strong and aggressive sellers building up their shorts in here. Those sellers were building up their shorts here and then they manipulated the price to go downwards. And for that reason, when there is a pullback to the beginning of that heavy volume zone, which is at 1.3019, I think that those sellers are likely to defend this resistance and to push the price downwards from there again. All right, so that's the second resistance on the British pound. And let's now check out another chart, another trading idea, and it will be on the Australian dollar, the Canadian dollar. So this is the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, 30 minute chart and in here I have a new resistance which is at 0.9202 and this resistance is based on a trend setup. It is based on this downtrend and on those significant volumes that got accumulated within that trend in here in this little rotation. As you can see from this rotation, the strong sell-off continued. And this is telling us that the sellers who are pushing the price downwards in this downtrend, those sellers were adding to their shorts massively in here, right? This is the place 
where heaviest volumes were accumulated, were traded within this uh, downtrend. So this is a significant zone where sellers were active and those sellers are likely to defend this zone. So when there is a pullback to 9202, I expect that those sellers will become active and they're likely to push the price downwards from there again. Now there's one more confirmation that I like about this resistance and the thing is that it worked as a support in the past. In here, there was a strong reaction to this level, right? So it worked as a support, but then when the price went past the support, it turned into a resistance, right? So it's not only the volume profile setup, those volumes, but it is also a support becoming a resistance setup, right? So for those reasons, I expect a reaction from there, right? So let's now go to another chart and it will be the Australian dollar Japanese yen. In here, and there's pretty similar scenario, there's pretty similar resistance. Let me draw the profile in here. What we are looking at is the Austrian dollar Japanese yen 30 minutes chart. There is a downtrend and within this downtrend there is a significant volume cluster in here. And from that volume cluster, from this place, the strong selling activity continues, right? Right there. So, in this place, sellers were active, sellers were adding to their short positions. Then they continued to manipulate the price to go even lower. For that reason, when there is a pullback to 93.02, I expect a reaction, a reaction of those sellers defending this zone where they were active before, and I expect them to push the price downwards. Again, there is the confirmation of the price action setup, of the setup which says that there was a support which turned into a resistance. It turned into a resistance when the price blew past that support in here, right? So in this place, the support turned into a resistance and currently there's a price action based resistance. And also there is a volume based resistance here. So again, we have two setups that confirm that this uh, resistance and for this reason, I think that there'll be a nice reaction to it. All right, so that's about it, guys. That's about the trading ideas. If you would like to learn more about trading with volume profile and if you would like to trade alongside me every day, then what I recommend is visiting my website. This is it, trader-dale.com. And the next best step is go to trading course and tools. So you click that. You scroll down a bit and what I recommend is getting the Elite Pack. The Elite Pack is an educational pack that will teach you everything there is about trading with volume profile. And there is a video which you can watch that will show you everything that's included in the Elite Pack. In short, the Elite Pack includes a video course. It includes my day trading and swing trading levels that you'll be getting each day. It also includes volume profile indicators that I developed and also couple of bonuses. Now at the top of that it also includes free tech support for Elite Pack members and what that means is that our tech support team will set up Ninja Trader 8 platform for you with all my indicators, they'll load up my trading workspaces, they'll connect you to data feed and they'll do it completely free of charge as that's the part of the service that we provide to the Elite Pack members. All right, so that's about it. That's about the Elite Pack and that's also about this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found it useful and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video or in our members area. And until then, happy trading.